guy in a Segway over here. Anyway, hello, welcome to Cycling Tips. Dave here, and I've got another video for you this week. Budget one, don't worry, it's nothing too pricey that I'm going to be talking about. Because, well, here at CT, that's what generally we talk about when we review items, the pricey stuff. And that is because, well, we get sent the pricey stuff by the brands, which is understandable because the brands want to show off their latest, greatest flash kit. But as I found out this year, by doing a couple of budget challenges, that there is plenty of good kit out there that shouldn't break the bank. So I thought, how about I do a top 10 of the budget stuff that I've really liked in 2020. So without further ado, let's delve in to the good stuff, shoddies, budget bangers. The first item I'm gonna give a shout out to is the DHB, well, tights and shorts. I'm bundling them together because it was the pad that really impressed me. The tights come in at about $60 and the shorts come in about $40. I'll put the prices here. All right, you got that. Not too bad money at all. Now the tights aren't the warmest. About another $40 will get you something that's a lot warmer but with a pad that's equally as good as the 60 euro ones. And the same goes for the shorts. You've got to spend double the price, which was about $40 if I remember rightly, on a pair of shorts to get ones with a little bit better like for a little bit more compression. But if you're looking for a starter pair of shorts, a starter pair of tights, the DHB ones are pretty damn good. You can't go wrong with them. Now, for my second item, I'm gonna go a bike. One that I um, might have invested in afterwards, or at least the frame, the Trek Checkpoint, ALR. This thing is an aluminium gravel bike, and there is plenty of alloy gravel bikes out there. The one I reviewed comes in at about $2,000, and for 2020 or 2021, whatever it is now, the group set's a little bit different. I was using the 105 group set, which I'll come to later. But as a bike, as a whole, it impressed me. Sure, it's not super budget, but it's, I would say, an affordable bike for many out there. It's not crazy money, because you can spend $10,000 easy on a gravel bike. You can spend $5,000 on a gravel bike. So 2,000, I would say, is a bike for somebody that is a very much an enthusiast. But it is a very capable bike, and over time, it's one that is a platform that you can add to put fancier bits onto because it's worth it. The video for that review, I'll link below. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, there's always somebody with a leaf blower. Seems to be a national lobby here in France. Anyway, on with product number three, and that is that 105 group set. That was on the Trek when I tested it. It's just a superb group set for the money. It functions just as well as the higher end group sets, your Ultegras, and maybe your Jores. Yes, it's not as light as them. Yes, it might not wear quite as well, but for most people, it's gonna be one that should see you for many, many miles. And the relatively new shape of the old model is just a world of difference. The older hydraulic version, at least, was quite wieldy, quite big. The new one, super slick. If you're looking for a budget group set, you pretty much don't need to look any further than that. Product number four, Fabric Line Saddle. I've had one of these on a couple of my bikes for many, many years now. I've not at the moment, I've got a very fancy specialised one, but super comfy and they retail at around about $70. You can again pick them up in the sale a lot cheaper than that. Sure, it's not got all the fancy tech made of carbon or anything like that, but if you are looking for a company with a range of saddles at that sort of price point, check out Fabric. They're not the biggest brand out there, but they definitely do do a good job. On to number five, which is the Sportful Hot Pack Gilet. This retails at 65 euros. Again, not massively budget, but if you hunt around, I've seen it for as low as about 45 euros, $45, something like that. I've used the Hot Pack range for a long time now. They sent me a new gilet back at the start of the summer. Admittedly, not been out too much, but I can see it lasting just as well as my old one, which I had for five years. Sportful, as you can see, might be one of the brands I prefer wearing. They do do some really good value kit and the Hot Pack Gilet is up there with that. Number six, 
I've not got it on my head, but I really should have put it on before I left. The Met Vinci helmet. This retails at 100 euros. It is Met's lower mid-range road helmet, but they also do it in um, a gravel version at 80 euros. The gravel version called the Oro doesn't come with a MIPS liner like the Vinci helmet, but it does come with a little peak that you can clip on. Now I've used this helmet for a little bit of gravel riding and it is pretty much my helmet that I go to every day for running around town, taking my daughter to nursery, that sort of thing. It's comfy, it's well ventilated, it's relatively light and it looks proper sleek. Next up, well, what number on to now? Six, seven, I don't know. Anyway, DHB's cheap as chips road shoes. The ones I used back at the year $200 kit challenge, that video's linked below as well, really impressed me. They're a lace-up shoe, so there's no fancy boa tech or velcro or anything like that, but you can get them tight enough and comfortable enough. Play with all your hot points on your shoes with the laces. It, they work wonders. Yes, it's a nylon sole, so they're a little bit more flexy than your fancy carbon ones, but if it's your first pair of cycling shoes, you'll get on with them perfectly, I'm sure. They are three bolt compatible, so you'll be able to fit Look or Shimano cleats on there. All in all, for I think 80 euros, something like that, I picked them up for 60, I think. They're an absolute Barry Argin. Next up, I'm going to surprise you with, it's that decathlon jersey that I didn't like in my summer $200 challenge. It weren't good for summer, it wasn't warm at all for summer, but as a spring and uh, autumn jersey, I don't think you can go wrong with it. Got a good few pockets in the back, lovely drop tail, nice material, great cut if you're on the slimmer, racier side. And the fabric looks relatively hard wearing. It's 50 euro and I think once spring does kick into gear here, I might be digging it out and seeing how good it really is. Right, last but not least, because I'm getting cold here, Hunt Four Season Wheels. Now I'm going to be honest with you here people, I've not used them yet, but looking at them, they look mightily impressive and seeing the reviews online, not just from customers but from a few other outlets, these things are highly rated and just from playing with them in the garage, checking out the construction, I can see why. The tubeless compatible, the hubs feel silky smooth and they are future proof so when they do change the axle width or whatever, you can add bits on, take bits off, so they should work. All in all, for around about $500, 470 euros, 370 quid, they look like an absolute bomb-proof tubeless set of wheels. Right, that's it from me. And just as the guys finish with the bloody chainsaw or whatever it was, but I'm cold, so I'm getting out of here. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed all the videos we've put out in 2020. There's plenty more coming in 2021, hopefully with less arm movements. But until then, thank you for watching and enjoy your riding.